Here's an example of our two-sided nesting. And it's simply a checkbox here to enable the backside nesting. I have my individual parts. And some of these parts have machining on the backside. And what I do is I have a do it file here that associates the front side and then the back side. What layers to cut on the back of the part and what layers to cut on the front of the part. So we have a two uh, tabs in our do it file. And we're going to do some pocketing on the bottom here. We've got some cutouts on the bottom. So it's just checking the box. It says enable backside nesting and run the job. And the parts will cut. Each one of the parts makes a program. And then it nests the front side of the sheet and nests the back side of the sheet. We get two programs, one for the back, one for the front. And that back side sheet will have a, a trim along the edge so that uh, you get a nice machined edge that's very accurate to flip the sheet against. and give you very accurate positioning for the second side. So the front side will line up perfectly with the back. Again, this two-sided nesting is something where if your parts have machining on both sides, we can put the sheet on the table upside down, or the back side first. We'll do all the routing and operations on the back side, trim the edge of the sheet, flip the sheet over, then do all the routing operations and cut the parts free on the front side. Now, as another option to consider, something that you can do is actually cut halfway through on the front and halfway through on the back. RouterSim supports that, and it has a very powerful way to do that. When you do something like that, you can have a round over edge on the top and the bottom of the part without having to elevate the parts. You also do not have to resurface the spoil board because you're, you're not cutting into the spoil board as much. So you can cut halfway through on the back, halfway through on the front, or you can just do all your um, cut through the parts on just the front side. Here you can see the results. We've got uh, two NC code files, one for the back side, one for the front side, and our nest drawing shows those results. Here we've got some pocketing and some cutouts on the back side of these parts um, and on these as well. So we've got two, and there's a trim edge right along the edge of the sheet here. We've got a tool path that trims that sheet along this whole x-axis and a little bit on the y. It's an adjustable value on the y depending on how many pins you have on your y-axis. So you get two programs, one for the back side machining, trim the edge of the sheet, flip it over, the front side machines, and the parts get cut free. That's two-sided nesting with router sim.